What's up, everybody? How you doing? Had a uh, special request for a video today. Um, it's for custom animation for you. So thank you for the comment, and I'll happy. Uh, I'm happy to make a tutorial for you. Uh, it's pretty easy, and he just asks uh, how to add timer to the score. And it's really easy. All we need to do is create a score variable, uh, create uh, update timer method. So we that's where we add the timer to the score. And it's really easy. It's only a couple lines of code. So let's just um, flip flop over into it. So we have our my timer script here, and uh, the first thing we do is have a uh, score variable. So um, it's a public int called um, let's call it custom animation for you score. And then we go over to our update method. We look for where it closes here, and create a new method called um, update score, I guess. And then, um, so here we go. We'll do it right here. So in this case, our score, or sorry, our my cool timer is going to be zero because we said so right here. Um, and we'll call update score. So we go update score, boom, here we go. And we'll just add our my cool timer. So copy and paste it over plus equals custom animation for you score and then print my cool timer so whatever my cool timer is it'll add custom animation for you score and print in the console here however right now custom animation for you score is returning zero it's gonna say zero so just for the tutorial we'll say it's equal to uh, 13 good old lucky 13 for the tutorial and testing purposes. So if everything's done right, I should have uh, no errors. And let's just see what happens real quick. We have our timer. So let's see. So right now our cool timer is starting at three and it's counting down to zero. And then when it reaches zero, it's gonna be equal to zero. So it stops counting. And then custom animation for you score is 13. So it should just be 13. It's gonna add zero plus 13 and print it in the console. And uh, there it is right there. 13. And let's just do this. There you go. And try it again, see what happens. And counting down from three. So we're saying custom animation for you score is 13. Okay, so that's counting down from, uh, that's saying it's zero, but maybe the player finished and he had 10 seconds left. So just for testing, we'll just go, we'll say an update score Michael, Michael timer is equal to 29. So it should go Michael timer is now equal to 29. So you say, let's just say for the, for testing, for the tutorial, you had 29 seconds left, and then we add 29 to custom anim animation for you score, which we said is 13 right here. And of course we can change that over here in in the inspector. And let's just call it three, 33 for the testing and see what happens. Run it again. Look, counting down, counting down, counting down. And custom animation for you is 62. So you had 29 seconds remaining in your game. Your score was, what was your score? 33. And then we had 33 plus 29 is 62. And that's it. That's how you add a uh, score to your timer. Pretty easy. Look, one, two lines of code, three, update score. And then you count this. Whatever. It's like four or five lines of code, something like that. But easy. So um, I hope that helps. And custom animation for you. Uh, thanks for the comment, and um, I hope that helps you out in your game. If anybody else has any questions or suggestions for tutorials or needs any help, I'm um, more than happy to try to help and get you on your way. So um, with that said and done, please do rate, review, and subscribe. Or can you rate, review, and subscribe? I don't know. Um, smash the thumbs up, the like button, whatever. Touch it, tickle it, feel it, caress it, look at it.
smash it, and um, leave a comment. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.